We have previously mentioned how it's best to start each sentence with words instead of mathematical symbols. It's even better to start each clause in a sentence with words instead of symbols. Um, if one does not, then you can end up getting a clause that ends with like a mathematical expression, but then it's separated by a comma. Then it, if you start the next clause with a mathematical expression or symbols of some kind, it can kind of get congested and kind of clumpy and it becomes less clear because as things, as the mathematical symbols blur together, it can very much confuse the reader. So to strengthen the principle we introduced earlier, we're actually going to follow the convention that we should separate all mathematical symbols and expressions with words. So when you look at the sentence, because x squared minus 1 equals 0, x equals 1 or x equals negative 1, um, well, you could say that we really should add some like English, some words there to kind of spread it out and make it easier to digest for the reader. So instead, we could say something like, because x squared minus 1 equals 0, it follows that x equals 1 or x equals negative 1. Just that extra little bit of words just helps with the clarity so much. You can say something like, it follows that, or we have, or it is seen. Um, there's a lot of things you could say. Put your own style, but put something just to separate the math, uh, just to make it more digestible for the reader. Another example, unlike A union B, a intersect B equals the empty set. Um, without the extra English, it can be somewhat confusing or like, okay, because oftentimes when we're writing like mathematics, we sometimes only put commas between mathematical symbols. We don't even put the word and. So it's like, is this is this suggesting like, unlike both of these things, like the break, putting some words in there can help with a lot with that. So it would be better to write something like, unlike A union B, the set A intersect B equals the empty set. That can improve your, your writing dramatically just following that simple uh, writing tip that we saw in this video. Now that brings us to the end of lecture 18. Thanks for watching. If you learned or liked anything in these videos, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. Share these videos with friends or colleagues so they can benefit from them too. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can.